Hey guys, it's Chloe and I'm back with another Bryn Mawr video. I wanted to make a Q&A because a lot of people aren't able to visit Bryn Mawr for Admitted Students Day or just a tour, so I thought I'd make a video detailing my experiences and answering questions that people asked me. You can totally feel free to ask questions in the comments as well and I'll try to answer them because I know it's a really hard time and one of the ways that I learned more about Bryn Mawr was through visiting and I would be really sad if I wasn't able to do that. The first question I got was just sort of what is the general vibe of the students and what is it like on campus? One of the things I honestly first noticed was that everyone is just so nice. I found it so easy to just sort of talk with people and they would really want to be your friend or just want to talk with you. And um, even in the first few weeks of school, everyone was really friendly, really open. Another question I got was asking about what weekends are like at Bryn Mawr. And one thing I'd say is the campus is pretty small, but people like to go to Lancaster Avenue, which is really close by, or Haverford, or Ardmore. Ardmore is this small little shopping area that the Blue Bus takes you for free on Saturdays, or um, most of Saturday, honestly. And people like to go to Haverford at night for parties, and I think a lot of people just sort of relax on the weekends, spend time with their friends, but there's definitely things to do and you can even go into Philly if you want. Another question I got was whether Bryn Mawr feels like a women's college. And what I'd say to that is Bryn Mawr is a historically women's college, so not everyone who goes there identifies as a woman. And there are male Haverford students in classes and male students in general, but Bryn Mawr feels like a really safe and open space. I have felt very comfortable at Bryn Mawr with an emphasis on women learning, and I think Bryn Mawr does a really good job of making people feel accepted and valued and like they can be leaders at their own school. Another question I was asked was what my favorite Bryn Mawr tradition was, and I love that question. Traditions are a huge part of Bryn Mawr, and they're one of the reasons I applied and came here. And unfortunately, I didn't get to experience May Day because of the virus, but virtual May Day is in the works, so I'm super excited for that. But I think my favorite tradition so far has been WTF week or Hell week. I loved having people um, to look up to in a way and get closer with them. And it was just this time where the whole campus um, got to sort of take a break from everything else that had been going on. You still have classes, but it's just such a fun time. And I've never felt closer to people and I'm so happy to have this little family of mine and we've gotten really close. I got a couple questions about where I work and I work on campus. One of the places I work is Uncommon Grounds, which is the cafe. I love that job and I've been working there since the first semester. One of the reasons I like the job is because you get to interact with people and the hours are really flexible to your schedule because you can work in the morning or between classes in the middle of the day or at night. One of my favorite shifts has been at night because I don't really have a lot of other things to do at that time and I can see people I know and have a good time making food. I also work at the Career Center on campus and I started that job second semester and I'm the social media intern for the center. I absolutely love that job as well. I've met so many great people including the adults at the office and it's been super fun promoting events and making Instagram posts 
and I've had a great time and even learned some things as well about my own career path. Another question I got was asking about how easy it is to make friends and I even made friends in the summer starting with the send-off parties and then online a lot of people followed each other on Instagram or were in the Facebook pages so it really started there. There are definitely many opportunities to make friends on campus whether it's in your classes or in clubs or just in the dining hall or something. I made one of my best friends in class. I had my ESEM, which is an Emily Bald seminar, which all first years take, and me and this girl Ella really clicked for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> and we've been really good friends ever since. I love Ella so much. Hi Ella if you're seeing this. And yeah, I found it super easy to just talk to people, like I said earlier, and I've met some of my best friends here. Another question I was asked was, what was one thing that you were surprised by when you got to Bryn Mawr? And I feel like there were some small surprises, but I think one that I can really remember is just being surprised at how professors were really willing to talk to you and wanted to make connections with you. People always talk about that, of course, especially with liberal arts colleges, about how go to your professor's office hours, they really want to talk, but they really do. <laughs> and one of my professors, the first semester, we really got along. I was taking her intro to US politics class, and I went to her office hours sometimes, and even if it wasn't about the class material, I just wanted to talk about politics or home because she had a friend near where I lived. She was just super willing to talk to me and we had great conversation. Another question I got was advice on what to bring to college or what not to bring. And one of my things that I think was really important was a fan. Um, in the summer, it was definitely hot, so in August and September, it was definitely needed, but it was also helpful for the other months when the heating was a little off. Some advice that I would have in terms of what to bring is I would look at Bryn Mawr's checklist that they have on their website because that definitely helps a lot and they go over what you can and can't bring because maybe you'll be surprised at what you actually can't have in college. So I'd say it's pretty important to look at that because that definitely helped me when I was shopping for things in the summer and packing. I got a question about the party situation at Bryn Mawr College and what I'd say about that is Haverford more often has the bigger Saturday night parties or on other days as well, but Bryn Mawr has a couple big parties a year, and then there are smaller parties that are just hosted by friends or birthday parties of that sort, and some of my favorite parties have been the smaller parties with my friends because it's just a really great time to listen to some music and have food and hang out, so I really loved going to those. Another question I got was the general why Bryn Mawr question, and there were a lot of reasons why I ended up choosing Bryn Mawr and why I'm super happy still with that decision. One of them is definitely the traditions. I think that makes Bryn Mawr super special, and I know a lot of other historically women's colleges have traditions as well, but I've just felt so loved and supported and happy with all of these traditions and the campus is so pretty. I'm sad that I can't be here for the spring with all the cherry blossoms, but I'm looking forward to it in the coming years. Everyone at Bryn Mawr is super friendly. Even just on the tour, I felt like everyone wanted to get to know me and learn more about me and really wanted me to come to Bryn Mawr. Another thing I love about Bryn Mawr is how the academic environment is very supportive and there really isn't very much competition between students. It feels like a low stress environment because it's you trying to be 
your best self and work hard, but there's no pressure to do certain things or perform at a certain level and people don't really talk about how they did on tests or however, they just talk about how they felt about it. I think that's it for the q and I hope that answered some of your questions that you may have had. I'm definitely happy to answer any more questions down below in the comments or on my social media. And I hope if you're considering Bryn Mawr that this has helped and that maybe you'll be coming to Bryn Mawr in the fall. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!